Let's talk about our democracy for a minute. <laughs> but let's do it in a way that makes the snowflakes' heads explode. Let me be clear before this podcast begins. We are loud, loud proud, proud, and do not give a fuck. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast. Real and raw political and social commentary. The freedom to oppress the rights of other people is not liberty, you shit-eating moron. Ah, the smell of freedom of speech. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast, and this is Tony Michaels. Hey, Tony, fuck them. One hundred thousand. We made it. One hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. The Tony Michaels Podcast. It's Tuesday, September twenty fourth. You know what that means? Two hours every single weekday, Monday through Friday, noon Eastern, eleven Central, nine Pacific, on YouTube, where we just uh, passed one hundred thousand subscribers. Facebook, Twitch, X Chan, and Rumble. Now we broadcast live here, and uh, today we're going to talk about several things, but one of the things uh, that I have been missing just just quite a bit because there's so much news is that Trump media is in the dump. You know, DJT, the stock. I, I think it's probably an indication of where this uh, election is headed to. I mean, everything Trump touches turns to liquid shit. Everything. He touches. Turns to absolute liquid shit. And I know they say it dies, but it's much worse than that. It's much worse than a corpse. And in this moment, as we approach November, uh, you know, and again, we talked about this yesterday. I don't know how many October surprises there are going to be because there is going to be more than one October surprise. If you want to call it a surprise, I don't know if it'll be surprising. It'll just be new information that we weren't conf- or that wasn't confirmed yet. <laughs> But if you remember how fraud social or Trump media came about, it was this SPAC. SPAC. It's a big kind of legal stock buying pump and dump type thing. Right? Us normies out there aren't really included in these type of things. It's mostly um, rich folks, investors. And why anyone would ever fucking invest with Donald Trump is beyond my comprehension. This is a guy who bankrupt casinos. He bankrupt casinos. Like one of the only ways to guarantee that you are going to make a profit. <laughs> and he bankrupt them. And he got bitched when he did it. I don't know if you've, you've went and watched the press conference uh, from when Donald Trump had to basically walk away from the casinos. But he he throws a temper tantrum and walks out of that press conference. It's quite the sight to see now. And the reason why is because the whole world really wasn't watching then, right? I mean, there was a lot of people interested in that that overall arcing story where in the 80s, Trump was kind of the media darling. He was a rising star in the business world. And then everyone found out that... He's not a good business person. He's a fucking idiot. And he got mad. He got mad that people knew that he was a fucking idiot. The one reason why people knew he was a fucking idiot is because he made it public. Because he wanted all the fame. He didn't just want the money. He wanted everyone to believe that he was rich. That he was a billionaire. That he was successful. Right. That's the reason why he wanted to go to Atlantic City and open the casinos anyways. Do the ribbon cuttings, get all the press, get on all the TV shows, talk about how he was the greatest new business person in the world. 
Well, if you rewind it back a little further, the only reason why Donald Trump could pretend to have any kind of success is because he's a Nepo baby. His dad, that Nazi, Fred Trump, was a welfare queen. You know that? Did you know that's where the Trump fortune came from? Our tax dollars. When the Second World War was done, our government opened up what was called the Housing and Urban Development Department. HUD, as a lot of people know it. HUD. H-U-D. HUD. Fred Trump, not only did he use HUD money and HUD loans to buy and build apartment buildings, but he also he also took HUD payments that were given to the tenants in which lived in his apartments from the federal government. Literally, Donald Trump's entire fucking fortune that he inherited with his fucking silver spoon in his mouth was welfare. That's what they like to call it. It's government money, subsidies, fucking welfare. Him, his dad, his mom, his brothers, his sisters, fucking welfare queens. All of them. Every last fucking one of them. And really, honestly, if Donald Trump would have took that welfare fortune that his father fleeced, and they fleeced it from the United States government, and the reason why is because we know that Donald Trump and Fred Trump are adjudicated racist. And the reason why we know they're adjudicated racist is because they were found guilty of not renting to black people in their HUD apartments. And the reason why the federal government got involved is because they were col- they were collecting federal dollars from those tenants. You can go fucking read about it if you want. You're probably not going to if you're MAGA, because why would you do that? And fast forward to the late 80s, early 90s, where Donald Trump absolutely demolished casinos. What a fucking joke. All Donald Trump had to do was take his silver spoon, shut his fucking mouth, and live his life. He would be the billionaire today that he pretends to be. He would actually be the billionaire today that he pretends to be. Without Trump water and Trump stakes and Trump University and Trump Tower and Trump Media Group. He could have been one of the richest people in the country if he just kept his fucking mouth shut. The problem is Donald Trump does not have the fucking ability. And right now, that is in our favor because he won't shut the fuck up. He absolutely cannot keep his trap closed. And it is benefiting us. Our democracy in our country is the beneficiary of this right now. I know it doesn't feel like it. I know a lot of people are like, God damn, I wish he'd shut the fuck up. He's destroying our country. He's destroying his campaign is what he's doing. He's destroying his fucking stock is what he's doing. I don't know if you've seen this, but in the last month, DJT, I love that he named it DJT too. Like the stock. <laughs> he put his fucking initials on it. <laughs> He could have called it anything else. He could have come up with some other initials with like Trump media something or some bullshit. I think it's the first stock that Trump has ever took in public. So he felt like a big, you know, big boy had his big boy britches on. So he decided to put his initials on it. Guess what? DJT has tanked 42% in the last month. And this stock venture, this this business venture, right, that he has, because all it's all fraud. <laughs> it's a pump and dump. It was a scheme. It's always a scheme with this motherfucker. Always. Concepts of a plan. I mean, your first indication that this thing was going to go south is Devin Nunes. 
the guy who sued a cow account on Twitter. I'm not shitting you. He sued a cow account on Twitter. Left his congressional seat, resigned as a congressman to go work and be the CEO of Fraud Social. I don't know, the son of a bitch has lost $16 million in revenue. It's down 30%, I believe, in revenue. It's going to crash into the earth. There's a question whether Donald Trump is even going to be able to sell these stocks. He claims he's not going to sell these stocks. And that hurts him even more when he says anything about it. When he talks about his fucking company, it hurts him. In the market. And the reason why is because the market know, knows he's a known liar. That's all he does is fucking lie. So when Donald Trump gets out in an interview and he's like, yeah, yeah, just a fraud, social, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's fantastic, it's going to be the biggest step. But I swear to God, swear to God, I'll never sell the stock. The market doesn't even believe him. The market, the investors don't believe Donald Trump. Why should voters? Why should voters believe anything he says? I haven't believed anything he says for a long time. Honestly, the way that I uh, consume, let's <laughs> say it that way, what Donald Trump says and the shit he fucking pukes up especially when it's something new which is uh it's been it's been a while since he's had any kind of new idea right any new concepts of plans it's always the same old fucking nonsense it's the same old fucking bullshit we've been listening to for the last goddamn nine years they take in the geese when it boils right down to it he ain't got no new concepts But when he does speak, my first instinct is to think he's lying. Like I start there. That's where I start is Donald Trump is saying something. It's a fucking lie. It's a fucking lie. And then you got to kind of, uh, you know, adjust and go, well, maybe this part's the truth because they do that. You know, fascists do that. They leave little crumbs of facts and little crumbs of the truth to sell their propaganda, right? Because they need their little Nazi loyal soldiers, many soldiers, maybe many soldiers. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> Fucking duck butter. <sighs> they need their soldiers to go out and defend them. And as long as you sprinkle one or two things that might be true in your propaganda, then they can just repeat those things that are true. So uh, everything I say is true then. If I said one thing that's true or even resembles the truth, then by God, everything I say must be the truth, which is not even close to reality. And I think that's where the country's at with Donald Trump. Rather it be the stock market and the market investors with his media group, which is fucking tanking. I mean, this son of a bitch is going to get below $10 a share. That's fucking pathetic. You might as well pack your shit and go home. Fold up like a goddamn umbrella or a lawn chair. Same way with this campaign. And I find it, I find it kind of ironic. That in the last month, Kamala Harris has been going up in the polls, just like the stock market has hit a record high. And Donald Trump has <laughs> crashed into the earth. And it's the same way with his stock versus the stock market, right? Are we not, are we not fucking paying attention to this? Are we not seeing what's happened? I mean, if you're going to look for a market indicator, right? If you're really looking for a market indicator, maybe, maybe, maybe that's it.
Now, the media would sell you something different, right? They'd say, oh, well, this poll here and that poll there. And it's really close. It's a close race. It's so close. Tony, no, really. I'm telling you. It's so uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, man. Woo. Some at North Carolina, even though the uh, duck butter Robinson is his campaign's falling. Everything's good. Everything's good. It's it's a tight race. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. They're in trouble. In 2022, I got this all the time. And it was even on the left, too. And I I I I fairly in 2022, during the midterms, when there was supposed to be a red wave, I fairly criticized people on the left, uh, one of them being David Pakman, because he would buy into that bullshit that there was going to be a red wave. Well, the polls are saying, MSNBC is saying, and all the analysts are saying, and all the polls and all the averages. And, <laughs> and I said, no, there's not going to be a red wave. You're full of shit. No matter the country's feelings that they had about Joe Biden in 2020, no matter what their, maybe their arguments were against how well or how bad Joe Biden and his administration had done in 2022, there's something that is obviously clear in this country. And we've seen it since the overturning of Roe v. Wade as well. I could point that out as an example. Time after time after time. When liberty, and democracy, and freedom is on the ballot, MAGA loses. They lose. I, I know Mike Johnson is the Speaker of the House. I get it. You know, I, Oh, well, they actually got the majority in the House. But, I mean, what has he got? Two seats? Two-seat majority. It took Kevin McCarthy 14 ballots to become the Speaker of the House. Do you remember when they vacated Kevin McCarthy? They were going to put Jim Jordan. Jim, I don't report sex crimes, Jordan. The guy who looked the other way when his fucking student athletes were being sexually molested in Ohio. They were going to put, they they flirted. They put him on the ballot. He thought he was going to get it. It took a couple times for them to go, no, that's probably not a good idea. And all because of one motherfucker. One. One. King MAGA, Donald Trump. He tanked their majority in the House. He tanked the possibility of having a red wave in 2022. He's going to tank their chances in 2024 because, folks, if Virginia's early voting is any kind of indication of how this is going to go, we are going to pile them under fucking mountain ranges of votes. And you should be checking your registration and making your plan to vote today. I've gotten several messages saying, Tony, I received my absentee ballot. I got my mail-in ballot. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready to get this done. I've watched video after video of people lined up around buildings waiting in line to early vote. Interviews of people like, yep, I'm tired of this bullshit. Not only am I sick of him, I'm sick of their his fucking dumbass delusional supporters. Who not only support him, but support his lies about our country and about our countrymen. Like the lie in Springfield, Ohio, about Haitian migrants who came here to fucking be a part of that community. Law-abiding citizens. Yes, I called them citizens because they're here legally, bitch. And hopefully one day if those Haitians decide that they want to naturalize and be real Americans, actual Americans who can vote, which is ridiculous that we allow people to be part of communities and absolutely do not give them any kind of right to decisions that are made in that community. That's fucking wild. That's wild stuff. 
that we are the melting pot of the world, yet the melting pot leaves out half the fucking half the pot to decide how we melt. Fucking ridiculous. And then we and then and then there's U.S. Senator who represents them and the U.S. Senate fucking shits all over them. I'm talking about the Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio. These people came here legally, had to have had to have fucking sponsors, had to prove that they were educated enough to get jobs. Get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. My 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 ancestry came here from Poland to Chicago. They were workers. They weren't rich. They weren't silver spoon fed. They weren't Nepo babies. And they came to the Midwest and they worked their asses off. My grandfather was in the fucking Navy. He was a police officer in Chicago. Then he became a dairy farmer in Missouri. He gave his life to civil service, not just to the highway department, but also the United States Postal Service. And somehow, somehow his father just ain't fucking good enough because he came from a different fucking place in the world. But wait, he was white, so it's okay. Black, bad, white, good. To believe that 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 people in this country come here and aren't going to be part of our country, aren't going to assimilate. Like they that they're trying their damnedest to do in Springfield, Ohio, it's ridiculous. But this is what they do. This is what fascists do. This is what Nazis do. And the lies and the hate and the bigotry and the racism and the fascism is what's causing Trump's stock to collapse. Not just the DJT stock. At the market, but his political stock. And the only thing holding it up, the only thing holding up is Russian rubles where they're paying influencers, they're paying, they're paying people in social media to pretend, to pretend like they support this fucking fool. And it's convincing millions of Americans to believe the lies. I'll I'll give them that. They've done a good job at propagating. Oh fuck, man. Trump and his allies and MAGA have done a good job at propagating and making millions of Americans believe fucking bullshit lies. Eight stories. I showed you yesterday a fucking story about egg prices. J.D. Vance blaming on Kamala Harris. Hey, J.D., hey, J.D., you motherfucker. The reason why eggs are the prices that they are is because the Biden-Harris administration, the federal government, protected consumers and sued. Sued egg producers because they were intentionally price fixing, which you claim that Kamala is going to do when she becomes the commie president. It wasn't the Harris administration, Biden administration. That fixed those prices, it was the fucking egg producers. And the federal government, on our behalf, sued them. Government doesn't do anything good. Government's bad. Could it be? Could it be? Speaking of egg prices, that Trump, Trump's lies, MAGA's lies, J.D. Vance's lies are just coming home to roost. Huh? Maybe that's why the fucking stock price has tanked 42 percent in the last month. Maybe it's the reason why Donald Trump is going to get his fucking ass kicked by a fucking girl. And hats off to her. Holy fucking shit. She has raised more fucking money than any other political candidate in a short period of time in the history of this country. She is running around this country going to belly to belly, doing retail politics and doing the big rallies, attracting huge crowds. She's not only turning disgruntled Biden voters 
onto her side. She's getting former Trump voters and Republicans to fucking support her. Because who in their fucking right mind, who in their fucking right mind, if you had $1,000 to invest, would go buy Trump stock? Huh? Would you go buy Trump stock today if you had $1,000 laying around? Would you go fucking invest in Trump? I guarantee goddamn to you MAGA wouldn't. Fuck no, it's the reason why that son of a bitch is crashing into the fucking ground. Even they won't touch that shit. Because they know he's a fucking liar. He's a fucking liar. He's a fucking liar. It's pretty fucking easy, folks. Not only is he adjudicated rapist, adjudicated racist, adjudicated con man, but he is a known motherfucking liar. And the market and investors, even his own supporters, don't trust him anymore. That's why he's got a hawk fucking wooden nickels and golden Chinese sneakers. He ain't got any choices left because he spent all his capital, including the political capital, on what? Because you're a little bitch? Because you couldn't concede in 2020 when you got your ass spanked? You could have had it good, Donnie. You really could have. You could have had it good. Oh, man. If he'd have just conceded, took your loss like a real fucking man would. You could have went down to Mar-a-Lago, not stole our fucking documents, lived your life as an as a ex former president, not tried to attempt a coup. Oh man, you'd have had all kind. You'd have been able to pretend to be fucking rich for the rest of your life. You could have did all these grifts, had all your supporters. You could have opened up DJT in that SPAC and it wouldn't have crashed into the earth because you wouldn't be out at Nazi rally saying stupid ass shit. You could have had it all, man. How you could have fl flown back and forth from Moscow to Mar-a-Lago, Moscow to Mar-a-Lago. I bet you they would have let you do it. But you couldn't fucking be a man and you couldn't admit the fucking truth just couldn't do it could you <laughs> well good now you're gonna pay the fucking price because what you do in this country is you fuck around and you find out and what you should do is not go anywhere because i'm gonna be right back right after this 